So you think they're gonna save? Let's hope. Who's gonna go up, do you think? In a perfect world. Yeah. I'm hoping that. I think so too. Because if Beth goes up. Because right now I'm stuck in the fucking middle. Me too. Right now? We need to be as if we're oddballs, not to them. We need to appear to them that we're entertaining the idea and open. But the odd because if the Beth odd balls can never know that we're the no, no, no. Um, and when it comes to the odd balls, oh, next week, as much as it, oh, it's so dicey. It might not be in our best interest to win H O H. No. So you're right. The best scenario would be Beth going up. Because, because then, then we have no choice but to vote one of them out on that side, yeah. which means their numbers are going to be down. So the excuse we can use is, hey, you know what, we're going with the numbers. Do you know what I mean? Like, who do you think we get voted to? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right? Like, so their numbers are down. Because afraid. they're going to try and want to pull I'm us in on that side then after. I am afraid that Jensen does use the veto. That would be best case scenario. Yes. If we can somehow keep Kiefer and Latoya, that's good for us. It is good for us, but that means we're still playing in the middle. At some we're point in time, we're going to have to. 1,000%. But I don't think it's something that. Because shit's going to hit the fucking fan once the first time. So it went on his knees. It's very dicey. But if Beth goes, I don't think either one of you can win HOH. We need to see. If Kyle and Ro will take shots at Jed and die, and if Jed and die will take shots at Kyle and Ro, yep. and honestly, it shit, but we make our decision from there. Mm. Yep. Because honestly, I feel good with Vic, and I like Vic, and I obviously don't want Kiefer and Latoya to go. No. And I actually feel pretty good with Brayden and Austin. I like them. Ah. Uh. I'm not there with them yet. Yeah, there. There. Like, I like them. They're nice people. They're, you know what I mean? Do you think that the boys like Jed and Di are trying to sway Brandon and Austin? Uh, I don't think so. No way. We're kind of in a good spot. We are. We're in a dangerous spot. Because dangerous. once one side, once, we, once a point comes in the game where we have to vote, a specific person out on the opposite side yeah. there, that's when shit's gonna make that. Yes. That's why we just have to pray that thing with them that when she kind of told me that's what she would do. Okay. I don't think she would put up die. It would make sense for her to put up Beth because she actually is good with die. She wouldn't be making waves with Jed. The oddballs aren't gonna be pissed. Yeah, so it's the same. And, and Beth was being sneaky with her vote. And Beth lied to me about that sneakiness in her vote. She asked me to talk to her today. And it was a good combo, but I wanted to see if I could catch her to lie because I know that if she knew about that vote pretty early on and that she was voting the opposite way and she lied to my face about it. When I said to her, I was like, yeah, you know, like the rogue vote with you, it kind of sketched me out a little bit. She's like, what? I haven't even heard that. Like I would do a rogue vote. <laughs> she didn't own up to it. My, oh, I mean, I have faith in Vic. I'm just hoping that we don't. I hope I can trust a little of what Jensen's saying to me and that he's not going upstairs and throwing me under the bus. I'm very quiet with him though. I don't say yeah. much. Yeah. I give him just a little bit of what he would want to hear. He does seem like a really loyal guy. I know, and, and I'm kind of... I'm I can't so even believe that I'm going to say it, but I might even him. like him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like, are you... Because you got, are you swaying me with your muscles? <laughs> you got people on one side. Like, I want to stay loyal to Latoya and Kifa. Because I trust them. I trust them too. Kiefer sketched me out a little bit, but I think we can rebuild. I think, I think that was. I think we can 
just out. out, you know. So, you know, I'm struggling with the fact of not wanting to upset them because we've been great since the beginning, right? Um, but then with all this shit that went down, I don't I'm still trying to figure out if both sides are lying or if it's one side that's lying. So it's like, which side do you go with? So it was kind of interesting when I ended up having my good talk with Jed. I almost wish that I would have just talked to him sooner and he could be bullshitting me, but he was very honest about saying my name. I don't think he said yours, I know he said mine. And he's like, honestly, Tara, he's like, I did say your name, but who I'm saying it to is my target. And I need them to think that my target is you. Which is God, bro. And that honestly makes more sense. He needs me more as a member than he needs Kyle and bro. See, the, the benefit of that side is, is you got you got brains and brawn on that side. Yeah. Right? But they would be so tough to get out later. They, they would, but Latoya's smart. She's not going to go top with them. I know, but when she's it gets, also so loyal. I'm telling you right now, when she gets to a certain point, She'll she's out. not going to want to go Kiefer with them. Would. I know that Kiefer would. So then, if it was me, you, Kiefer, and Latoya. If we can figure out a way that they both stay, that's the best case scenario for us. Best case scenario is that Beth goes. 1,000 Because... And we're it, playing both sides. Makes, we're playing both sides, but Beth is too. Yeah. And if at some point she slips up and says that we're doing it, we're fucked. She would never know. I very, I play very. Yeah. But she is. If you take out that piece too, it does open up space on that side. And they're gonna need a number. They will. I will have to see if he throws me under the bus to pick though. I kind of have a feeling and it's so weird though that we might be able to trust him for now. And Rowan Kyle's behavior is kind of weird. They're yeah, it's almost, like almost too distant. And the thing about it is they is the check-ins. They're only they only check in when it's beneficial to them. Yeah. Right? Like they checked in last night after all that blow up because they wanted to make sure, hey, did we just screw this? Yeah. We need to see how this shakes out, but we've got options. We're in a good spot. Mm -hmm. As long as neither one of us is the replacement nominee. So I, I don't think we will be. I don't think so either. But again, you can't be on the person. Never. And I don't know if Jensen is what he's saying to me that this is going to be a telltale sign though because he has been saying that he wants to build trust. He thinks it's unlikely for people to think we're working together, which I like. Oh, definitely. And he, he's proved that he's loyal, not to me, but the fact that he is going to risk and take Latoya off the block shows character. Mm. That is surprising because, me. Because he could not, he could prevent, like, not even use it all together. And yes, one of them would go home, but Ty would be safe because he's not using it. He does risk Ty going up, but I guess they know that Vic is close to Ty as well. Yeah. So, I mean, they're playing a good game in terms of keeping her on a leash as well. Yeah. We'll have to see how it shakes out. And I even told them I'm like, see, the thing it's I'm not my HOH. I didn't win POV. I haven't won shit. If I went up as a replacement nominee, it would suck. But I haven't won anything yet. I can't tell somebody else how to use it. That's how I'm speaking to him. Yeah. Because I actually really want him to use it. See, on one side, one side you have competitors that are going to be very difficult to beat. Because they're smooth talkers. Right? They know how to, they, like, they know how to use their words. They're strong. They're going to win comps. Like, it's the all-in-one package, so to speak side you have players that you might beat in the end yeah however 
for me. I personally get gets it's like like a shady feeling between the rope. I don't know. There's just something in my gut. I can feel that. I I didn't see it at first, but I can start to see it. Yeah. And I think he might have actually said that to Kiefer. I don't know if Kiefer lied to us about that. About what? That Rose said he was going to put us up. That Kiefer lied or Rose? Rose. Oh no! I think I think that Kiefer was telling us the truth. I think. I believe they that too. Said that. I believe that too. If Kiefer wouldn't have pulled out that rogue vote. But this actually put us in a, an indecent spot. And honestly, best case scenario would be if like either Kyle won HOH next week and he went after the boys. Or if one of Because them, then you decide to stick if one them. of one of the boys won and went after Kyle and I would like to see if Ty or Jed get it. What where, they they go. Go. where they go with their with their with their hit. But then it's risky for us because what if they're all about loyalty? We just have to play yeah. up. We have to play it so cool. So cool. It's funny, you know, I came in here just wanting to pick a rope yeah. and stick with it. But with all the the stuff. So and then, hard. you know, people approaching you and like, it's like, what do you do? You know, you can't think if, if people approach you and say, hey, you want to work with me? You can't, you can't say no. Yeah. Because I'm going to put your target on your back. Yeah. Oh, I do like the idea of the oddballs though. It's just, Kyle, Kyle, Kyle and Rose seem sketchy. Yeah. And Jensen isn't bullshitting me. And either him and Ty win and go after Kyle and Rome, we're still in a really good spot. Because mm. then we'd still be cool with Vic. At the end of the day, the day too, those two guys are smart in terms of... They are smart. Are they going to want to bring each other to the end? They all say, hey, romance to the end. Sides are pitting against each other. If they if they actually go for the, for the strong players, then great. That that works for us. Yeah. It's starting to get interesting and interesting in a good way. And I don't think I'm going to get all paranoid anymore. That was terrible. <laughs> no, it really was though. Like I'm not taking this shit as personally. If I go, I go. I'm gonna play the guess, best game that I think I can. And that's all you can do right now. Everybody's gonna have to. Yeah. Out. Everybody's gonna have a mistake. I just, you know, it is what it is. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna do my best. That was like a brutal feeling. It's not worth it. I want to at least enjoy this experience for what it is. Go as far as I can. If I can make it to the end. We'd be giving her speeches, and I'd be like, you know, teen is great, man. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> Just pick one. <laughs> yeah. You could pick me. You could pick <laughs> Tina. Whatever, man. doesn't matter. <laughs> but we'll have to see how it... I will. I do refuse, though, if Vic keeps us safe this week. I will not say her name. I won't. And to be quite honest with you, um, well, yeah, I don't think they, uh, would they go after Rick? No, I don't think they would because I Not think, this early, I don't think. No, and I think that they could see Vic as a valuable number. Yeah, I think, it, I think she might be able to get swayed. Yeah. Out of everyone in that group on that side, I think she may, but I don't know. Maybe I maybe. don't know. Sometimes you have to get over people. Like, it's the 
Sure. 